Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some of the features of Mac OS X Mountain Lion on your Mac today. I have about eight features that were showcased in the Mountain Lion preview and although these aren't exactly the features that we're going to be given once Mountain Lion is released they are pretty close substitutes so let's get right on into it. First things first, let's make OS X Lion look much more like Mountain Lion, and the easiest way to do that is with the NGC 3190 Galaxy Wallpaper, which is what I have on my desktop right now. And if you guys look in the description, you will find a link where you can also download this wallpaper. One of the features that I'm most looking forward to is the integration of the Notification Center. And although there's no full way to integrate a Notification Center with fancy swipe gestures, we can mimic the alerts that the Notification Center will display. And the easiest way to do that is with Growl, which is a very popular preference pane. And although the default look of Growl does not mimic Mountain Lion, you can download display styles that will mimic Mountain Lion. And I have one right here. It, it's titled Mountain Lion. Go figure. And if we click Preview, we will see that's very similar to how the Mountain Lion notification alerts are going to look. And you can find a link to this style down below in the description. One feature that I know a lot of people are looking forward to is the unification of the Safari URL and search bar. In previous versions of Safari, you'd have your URL bar and then you'd have your search bar. And oftentimes I'd find myself at least typing a Google search subject in the URL bar and then getting an error message saying this isn't a website. But now if we install Safari Omnibar, which I already have, when we type into the unified bar, we can just type anything we want. Jonathan Ive. And then it returns us with a Google search instead of an error message saying you typed in the URL bar instead of the Google search bar. iMessages is coming to the Mac to replace iChat through the Messengers for Mac application, which you can download now. It's in public beta. But right here, I just have a conversation open with myself. This will go straight to my iPhone. So if I type a message, hey, bro, yo, man. And of course, it autocorrects it to two. I don't know why it does it, but there you go. There is iMessages. AirPlay mirroring is being built into Mountain Lion, and this is going to allow you to mirror your Mac screen onto your Apple TV, which I think is a great feature. But if you don't want to wait, you can mirror your Mac right now using AirParrot. Unfortunately, it does cost $10. So you kind of have to decide, you know, do I, how badly do I want this feature? But in my personal opinion, from what I've read about AirParrot, it seems like this will do more than what AirPlay mirroring will do in Mountain Lion, because as we've seen from previous third-party apps, generally they have more features than Apple gives us. Share Sheets is Mountain Lion's built-in social functionality, and this is going to allow you to send tweets, send emails and messages, send a link to Safari's reading list, post pictures to Flickr, upload videos to YouTube and Vimeo, tons and tons and tons of stuff. And although there's no, like, one button to do all these things currently, you can download what's called Share Bookmarklets, and they're just little links that sit in your bookmarks bar, and when you click on them, it'll post whatever link you're on to a social media website. So I have two right here. I have Facebook and I have Twitter. So if we click share on Facebook, it'll just send this link of Tim Cook, Apple's new CEO, to Facebook. I can just type my message and then click share link. And same thing with Twitter. Just click share to Twitter. And then I can tweet this out. So what I would recommend to you guys is find the websites you like, look to see if they have share bookmarklets, and install them in your bookmarks bar in whatever is your default web browser. Notes in Mountain Lion will sync the Notes app between Macs, iPhones, iPads, iPods, all the above. And that's a great feature, but quite frankly, the Notes app is pretty limited. And there are plenty of other apps out there that have the same syncability feature and many, many other features too. And one of those is Evernote, which I have open right here. And this is actually a free app, and they have apps for the iPhone, iPod, iPad, and Android. So even if you don't have an iDevice, you can still sync this to your phone. So I figured I would do is just run through this very quickly to show you some of the features, how this works, and then you guys can decide for yourself if this is something you want to get. So I already have a note typed up. I can drag a picture in here. We get some nice little math stuff, and then we can change the title of it. So my first note. We can add tag so I can find it later. So math uh, first note note 
whatever you guys want. You can then, let's see, let's for, if I want to highlight the fact that this is first, let's make this bold. Let's change this font to impact, size, all that. So, you know, those are just some basic features. This has many others. You can have different notebooks. So let's say I wanted to have one for school, one for work, one for my gaming videos, one for my Mac videos. There are tons of other features. So I recommend that you guys download this, explore with it, try things out, and figure out if this is something that you want to continue on with. And the same thing follows the Reminders app. Great that it syncs to all of my devices, but pretty limiting in features. But here we have Wonderlist, which is free from the Mac App Store. It runs on Macs, PCs, iPhones, iPads, you name it. It runs on everything. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with Evernote, just quickly show you some of the features, and then you guys can decide to explore this further if you want. So let's start by adding a task. Make more tech videos. I hope you guys like this one. And then I can, I can set a time. So let's see. Sunday, maybe I'll make another one. And then I can add, you know, some more notes to it. So let's say run Windows 8 on your Mac. So now we got that. And you can also add a, another list. So right now, the one I just created is under my inbox. But let's say I'm planning a party. So I can go to add list, title it party. And now I can create a task right here. So invite people. And then same thing, set the date. I'm going to invite people tomorrow. And here I can have a list. Um, you, me, everyone else. So that's Wonderlist. But those are how you get the features of Mountain Lion on your Mac right now. Remember, guys, everything I talked about you can find a link for in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And feel free to follow me on Twitter, at Fisher12. There will also be a link to that in the description down below. I apologize for my absence. I can tell you guys, you know, it was because of college. But if you guys have any further questions about it, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I promise I'll see it, and I'm going to respond to all the comments that I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.